Hey, what's going on everybody here again killing cash and I haven't done a full video on getting your residency in Mexico or even getting a residency in other places whether it be South America whether it be Africa and really it's just because I've been trying to deal with the people who pay me to you know give the game to which anybody's able to, um, you know, come have an hour, sit down and see if I'm the right person for you. But let's talk about Mexico. And I'm not going to tell you my reasons or try not to tell you my reasons. But if you feel like you need to, you know, get out of America or have an, another option, whether it's for business, whether it's for personal, who cares? It won't kill you. And it won't cost you tens of thousands of dollars to do. So if you want to do that, let me just tell you, for Mexico right now, what you'll need is to go to your closest embassy. You'll need to bring all the paperwork to them. And that basically shows that you make a Mexican minimum wage, which might be like $2,000. That can change and it's going up every minute. It might have changed even by now. And so... Once you show that paperwork, you go through, you know, the, it's, it's a easy process for us. It was easy. I seen people on YouTube say they had problems. They, you know, sometimes they said they only spoke Spanish to me. None of that was our family of fours experience. Um, but if they did speak Spanish, you know, we were ready for that too. And you should know, you know, at least how to say, hola, como estas, uh, you know, um, mira, <laughs> no, somebody's talking about a key, right? But, um, I found the Miami office to be nothing but pleasant, even to the point where they will help you, you know, with even connections, um, in Mexico to help that process too. So you might need an expediter. Uh, they can hook you up if you're nice, if you ask, you know, questions are, you know, are, are everything, you know, preguntas <laughs> as an inside joke, but you know, you, you got to ask, um, but really easy process. And once you do that, we, we did it in a day for our paperwork. Um, if you are a family of, you know, more than one you might have to do it in two days just because the way the process is but it's an easy process even if you have to come back to you know the same um, office funny enough we had to go two days and they had moved offices and we didn't get the memo and they moved into a nicer uh, bigger office and it was beautiful and everybody was running around you know i'm um, happy to be in the new office it was like the first day in miami so once you get your paperwork and you go down to mexico you can hire an expediter now if you watch my diversified game show i have an interview and the lawyer said you don't need me if you come to Manada. like things are simple things are cool you'll be out of here you know maybe half a day at most but if you go to cancun or if you go maybe somewhere else busier Maybe you do want to get an expediter because the expediter can get your paperwork ready. They can, you know, save your spot in line. So it's not that you're cutting line, but it's, you know, they can save that spot. And when other people are waiting for hours, we were out of there in two and a half hours. So I have nothing bad to say about how we were treated at the office in Mexico. And I did do a video on my Killing Cash YouTube, which probably this is going on on the Mexoteles because the Mexoteles is basically literally just like 10 feet away from the immigration office of now in Cancun. And it was just so easy, so easy to get to. Now it may not be the, you know, four or five star hotel and it's not the four or five star hotel that you're used to, but it is like a three star and some might even say two. I found it to be, it was clean. It had everything that we needed to do. And let me tell you, for four days or five days, it was under, you know, $400 for two rooms because daddy got to have his own room, right? Um, got to have that. Parents got to have their own room. So once you get to Mexico, 
get an expedite or not. You, you, you know, we were again out of there in two and a half hours. Um, paperwork can be done for you. That can cost anywhere between, I've heard people getting it as low as $100 a person, $800 a person. Some people even pay $1,700 to $2,000. I think that's too much. Don't pay more than 1000 for it. Just wait if it's going to cost you that much because it's not difficult. And when you get to Mexico, again, um, Spanish, it's um, nice. Necesito, no, but it's nice to be able to, you know, get the, the basics out. So when they're asking you something, you can say, see, no. And if you don't do Spanish at all, it's okay. Don't, don't trip off that. Just go because Mexico is so welcome. Tell them you're a descendant of uh, Vicente Guerrero. <laughs> if you look that up, that's their Mexico's first president, our first president as a Mexican resident. Um, you know, that, that's, uh, and he had, he was like um, mixed and he had some black in him. So that's the joke on that, but that's real talk. And people say, oh, okay. You know, some people you have to tell the story to because they don't know history. Um, just like here in America, sometimes people don't know history. You have to remind them, yeah, Abraham Lincoln, remember? He was the president. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, but I tell you what, Mexicans know more history than we have here. And again, whatever your reason it is, whether you are a conspiracy theorist, a doomsday, zombie apocalypse, a prepper, it's just good to be able to travel. It's the best teacher. And again, in the video that I did, First about Mexico, I said, you know, what we found out when we got to um, Ciudad Mexico, Mexico City, is we went to UNAM, the biggest university, 350,000 students, never been to a university that big. We paid for like one section of the museum and we didn't even see it, you know. Maybe we paid for three sections. I don't know, but we didn't. We, we, in the one section we went, we spent two or three hours and we didn't see the whole thing. It was grande. So... I say that to say, at this university, we found out that we were asking all the students, how much is tuition? Everybody says, zero. Like this. They don't pay anything. Ask somebody when we were at the Freedom Museum. She told me, no, I, never, I didn't pay tuition. So I said, okay, this is a beautiful campus, big campus. Nobody pays tuition. So I went on the website and found out that if you do pay tuition, right now it's like $1,000 a year. So I'm like, I just paid my kids tuition. That's a beautiful thing. Plus, Mexico City is bigger than New York, and I would say it's cleaner, and I would say, you know, it's it's just cultural, full of art. And again, you're still close enough to America, right? So you're there. Um, and whether you wanna start a business, which if you do start a business as a temporary resident, you do need a, a Mexican partner. I believe as a permanent resident, you don't. But um, it's always good to have a, a partner if you're going to start a business. Um, but uh, I, I say all that to say, just do it. Just do it. Stop thinking, overthinking about, oh, is, you know, is it safe? What about the cartel? Everybody who talks about the cartel in Mexico... I can tell you probably hasn't been to Mexico off the resort. They're scared. They are listening to the propaganda, the stereotypes, and they don't know enough about, you know, Mexico at all. Because I know people who've lived in Mexico for over a decade and they've never had an interaction with the cartel. They've never even had an argument um, with anybody. But, you know, if you're looking for an argument, you surely can find it. And if you're argumentative, we'd ask that you, uh, you know, just please stay, uh, stay home. Like, <laughs> there's no need for you to leave, right? Um, there's no need for you to leave um, even your house if you're argumentative. You know, some of y'all need to stay home. But for those who don't and those who are seeing this video, it is so easy to get. And once you get your resident card... They see you as a Mexican. So when you go to the museums, there's a discount. There's uh, discounts on so many things. And again, if you watch other YouTube videos, there's couples who say, you know, they don't have kids. Or they're grown, but they say they live, you know, for $1,200 a month. Um, people paying $300 a month in rent when you don't believe that. Like, how is that? 
your rent's 300 and then people can live off, you know, their social security, their investments, if you've written books or movies or have residual income, you know, not to say that you're going to be balling. And I'm not saying that we move into Mexico mañana, but um, it's a nice option to have as international travelers, as people who like to live a nomadic lifestyle, people who want to just explore. Maybe you want to take a year off and just, you know, write a book and you need to like declutter. Also, I have a friend, she told me, she's an actress, and she said a lot of um, actresses and actors is what they call them, um, they're down there now because of the writer strike. That's a real thing. You know, with this writer strike, people aren't able to get new checks and they don't want to suffer they can go to Mexico and live off, you know, their savings for right now and maybe, you know, find some work down there. I don't know how that works, but I'm just giving you the game so you don't have to be lame, so you don't have to have an average life because average is boring, average is dull. What we say in this house, average is for losers. We're trying to be exceptional, so let's work hard. So you got the game from Kelly Cash. Make sure that you check out the Diversified Game podcast something i do for the last like four years five maybe uh you know showing you how people start sustain and succeed in their business you know you might see these uh bands on me right here these are coming straight from kenya if you want them custom made for your organization yourself maybe you got a case or something um maybe you got a case <laughs> And, you know, you you want to support a case, no matter which way it goes, um, you know, holler at me and get you wholesale orders. You know, you got to buy in bulk, but we can uh, make a deal for you and uh, it can be affordable. You know, no pole mouthing. If you pole mouthing, um, this isn't this isn't for you, but we're not trying to hit anybody over the head either. So you get in the game straight from killing and i appreciate you for tuning in make sure you share this with somebody somebody needs to go to mexico today somebody needs to go start a business today you know whether it's mexico or if it's africa got your back but you have to make a move and you have to want to spend money because nobody owes you anything you gotta plant a seed without a transaction there can be no transition you gotta plant that seed all right be blessed y'all